Welcome back to buy or die. We make money on perspective stocks. And I don't know why you're still not with us. Subscribe, hit the like button and let's go. I make videos about a species stock almost every day because I'm a huge fan of Virgin Galactic Company as most of my subscribers, I presume. But suddenly I realized that there are many people who are looking for profit on the internet, who have some money to invest, but they know nothing about Virgin Galactic stock, also known as SPC stock, for those who don't know this. And they don't understand the potential of this investment. Now most people are sure that only cryptocurrencies can give them significant profit, but today I'm going to offer you something more perspective. This video is for those who don't fully understand what Virgin Galactic is. Prepare to dive into the area of space tourism. So what do we know about SPC? It's all about the space industry, high potential, high risk investment opportunity for investors willing to take the leap into some volatility. In the last year alone, the stock of Virgin Galactic has jumped 300%, then fallen 75%, and more than tripled from recent lows, now it's decreasing again. So you still thinking that cryptocurrencies are the most volatile? Think again. The bullish case for Virgin Galactic is that it will redefine how we think about space. For as little as $250,000, anyone can travel into space once commercial flights begin. That sounds like a lot of money, but think about how unattainable space seemed only a decade or two ago. Now it just takes a big checkbook to get there. The flight is only a few minutes long, but it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience that has already attracted over 600 reservations. It's important to point out that this is a pre-revenue company. It's burning cash in anticipation of generating revenue from research and from customer tickets for a quick trip into space. But it hasn't launched commercially yet. The bright future is still ahead, we investing in the idea. We haven't touched this money heaven yet, the stock price can double and double again and again and again. We cannot even compare it with Tesla because Virgin Galactic is something more global. Management thinks that uh, when operations are fully ramped up, a spaceport, like the company has built in New Mexico, will be able to generate $1 billion per year in revenue. Build a few spaceports around the world and suddenly valuing the company at $8.7 billion, its market capitalization today, doesn't seem so crazy. Also in development is a Mach 3 aircraft that could take high-speed travel to a new level. While the current spacecraft being tested is meant for tourism, a Mach 3 aircraft could make global travel more efficient, reducing the flight from Los Angeles to Tokyo from 12 hours to comfortable 3 to 4 hours. We don't know for sure if space tourism or max speed travel will succeed, but imagine if they do. They have all chances for this. If thousands of people fly into space each year and it's commonplace to see videos of celebrities or wealthy people in a weightless atmosphere, it has the potential to shape how we view space tourism. At the same time, Virgin Galactic a design of reusable rockets could allow it to reduce costs to make space tourism possible to those willing to spend around $100,000 on a ticket. And that uh, could truly change how we view space. That's the kind of disruption that would drive big gains for investors. So what conclusion do we have in general? 
about all of this, the company would complete 400 space flights per year, generating $1 billion in revenue per spaceport, with the potential to build dozens of spaceports around the world. Long term, the spaceports could also house max speed aircraft. If Virgin Galactic succeeds, the company could open up multi-billion dollar markets that don't exist today. I think now you realize the potential of Virgin Galactic. Everything that I said before proves that we have precious stock on the market, because it's really precious. This stock has to be in each portfolio. It's very perspective. I haven't been as inspired about any company as now. I forgot about Apple, about Tesla, Netflix, Zoom and all other stocks, because they pale in comparison to Virgin Galactic. The current price is still yummy. It's becoming uh, more and more attractive every day, unfortunately. But uh, we're going to discuss it a little bit later. The trend is bullish. The perspectives are awesome. I don't see any reason why Virgin Galactic stock can go uh, back to, let's say, uh, $20 yeah, in the nearest term. People are waiting for test flights. More and more investors know about this company and see the potential of space tourism and upcoming July in general going to be all around space. Blue Origin flight with Jeff Bezos. Elon Musk going to launch his Starship for orbit flights. New announcements from SPC are coming and subsequently it's test flights. Probably with Richard Branson aboard the founder of Virgin Galactic, if you don't know. And all these events going to impact each other, creating mutual growth and positive trend for space tourism. Yeah, we still can go back to, well, $35, but $35 is not $15, that was not so long ago. So as I said, use your chance to buy perspective stock. With start of commercial flights, we never gonna see this stock under $100 again. Look at forecasts. SPC target is between $100 and $130. SPC receives FAA approval to fly passengers. By the way, this was the most important event of June. Huge milestone for Virgin Galactic because the company received regulatory approval to fly customers into space. Uh, in the, the in that announcement, announcement, yeah, uh, there was said that. A new chapter in the story of human spaceflight is beginning. So the FAA said in this statement about Virgin Galactic. And the agency confirmed it had approved the first commercial space license to launch private individuals into space. Everybody now realizes that SPC has huge advantage over other space tourism companies. The potential is really huge. All targets are bullish. I saw $80, $100, $63. It's evident that long-term investors will be billionaires, yeah? Some of them will be millionaires, some of them billionaires. Still, yeah, you're going to get your profit. But even if you don't have much time, if you don't want to wait until next year, I guarantee that you will earn good money on SPC stock in three months. Yeah, all right. July, August, September. Three months. Because the only way now from the current level is up. We have test flights coming. In autumn there will be the well the beginning of procedures here for commercial activity. The sun shines for SPC holders. So despite your strategy, despite uh, trader or investor you are, it's the best opportunity to buy SPC stock to become a little bit richer. But let's not be too optimistic. Yeah, let's uh, look at negative prospects also now 
the overview of the current crash. At the moment, SPC stock is falling, falling dramatically. Yesterday it lost 15%, today during pre-market it lost 5%. Maybe by the time you're watching this video, even more. The current price is about 44 or $45. The markets have seemingly rethought the level of enthusiasm. On Monday, Alambic Global Analyst Peter Skibitsky downgraded Virgin Galactic to neutral from our weight, saying valuation is now stretched to excess levels. And analytics uh, released a report noting the massive expenses the company still has ahead, as well as continued skepticism about the total addressable market for six-figure space tourism flights. It's worth noting that even with the recent declines, Virgin Galactic shares are still up nearly 20% since 24th of July. This stock has been volatile since Virgin Galactic went public, and uh, all this situation is not surprising. On the one hand, the FIA decision means Virgin Galactic is a step closer towards its goal of ferrying paying customers into space, and at least one layer of uncertainty surrounding the stock has been removed. Yeah, I already told you about the importance of FAA approval. But on the other hand, this is still a company valued by the market at more than $11 billion despite having little to no revenue, an unproven business model, and rising competition from the likes of Jeff Bezos Blue Origin. Based on the expected pace of the remaining three test flights, Virgin Galactic will likely not be positioned to carry paying customers until at least early 2022. More importantly, the reservation list has not expanded from 600 customers since 2018, and the company will remain too capacity constrained to serve this limited customer group or meet consensus expectations for revenues in 2025. These words were written by analysts at research firm Paragon Intel. Virgin Galactic will need eight tested and fully operational ships by 2024, as well as 900 cumulative things use motors, neither of which is supported by the company's current supply chain. FAA approval following a successful test flight doesn't change the economic viability or long-term value of the business. With no revenue coming in until passenger flights begin, Virgin Galactic posted a $130 million net loss in the first quarter. Last year, Virgin Galactic posted a $376.9 million net loss. The company's cash in the first quarter stood at $616.6 million, down from $666 million in the fourth quarter. Virgin Galactic will burn through available cash within two years and require additional equity to fund development and production. Even under fantastical assumptions, Virgin Galactic's shares are overvalued. Under more reasonable assumptions, however, shares have limited to no value. These words are also uh, said by analysts. Out of the nine sell side analysts that cover the stock, 55% rate it uh, hold. The street doesn't see Virgin turning a profit until 2024, when it's expected to turn out a modest uh, $39.8 net profit from its space operation. Analysts see Virgin burning nearly $500 million in cash over the next three years, raising the prospects for a capital raise as suggested by Paragon Intel. 
The researchers kept Virgin Galactic on their short idea list. Okay, guys, keep in mind, when analysts try to lower the stock with their negative uh, reviews and so on, the company is going to explode. Big guys with big money are not fools to buy a PC for $60. They want it to be cheaper to buy space uh, for comfortable price. The same situation was with Tesla. You probably remember Wall Street was very skeptical about this Elon Musk company. And what do we have now? You can open Tesla chart to see what happened despite all analyst projections and all these reviews, negative targets and so on. So I'm not worried about this pressure. I use every decrease to buy more shares. Long-term strategy is my everything. Yes, this stock is unpredictable, but it's volatile, it's perspective. It can give you uh, okay, 40% of profit in one day. So, of course, it's up to you. My advice is to buy SPC stock constantly and you should believe in this company. Of course, now this company is... Uh, you invest in idea, right? So, that's why you should understand that you should have a strong belief in Virgin Galactic if you want to have a good profit from this company. As usual, share your opinion about the SPC stock in comments. How many shares do you have? Are you planning to buy them? And what future do you see for Virgin Galactic? And don't forget that investors who subscribe to Buy or Die channel make 500% more profit on stocks because they know what's going on on the market. So you know what you should do. Let's make money together. Stay tuned and bye.